Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to Narcology Unscripted. This is Dave. Today's subject is going to be the suffering narcissist and the immediate impact of no contact. Guys, take a second, like, and subscribe, and then comment down below if you agree with this take or you don't. Go ahead and grab your coffee or your tea. Good evening around the world. Thanks for sitting in to the Narcology Morning Show. Cheers. Well, guys, once you're in love and you feel love, it's a very strong emotion and you're going to fight for it. You're going to walk to the ends of the earth for it. Most people do. Most people don't give up on it too easily. Easily. So that's why after a discard, you see the narcissist able to treat you like you don't exist because they can't feel this emotion. And you've tried everything you could after the discard to get back in their good graces, but you can't convince them because they see the world in black and white and they never loved you. They never formed a bond with you. And so you know that saying of whoever cares less in a relationship has the power. Well, yeah, that is true. If you're in a relationship, if you started a relationship uh, and you don't love the person, that, that uh, connotation and darkness to that statement is true. But most normal people won't commit to a relationship in, until they know that they love that person. Because if your attraction drops in your partner, love is the glue that will keep you in there. They're not going to start another relationship with someone else because the attraction dropped in their partner. Attraction pendulum switches to each person all through the relationship. Because there's nuances, there's always changes, paradigm shifts, weight gain, addictions. You, what have you, there's always something that happens where the attraction for the other person drops. But if you love that person and have empathy, you're not, as soon as that attraction drops, you're not going to abandon them. You're going to give helpful boundaries and helpful tips, strong tips to get that attraction back because you want your partner to know because it's crucial. Once your partner knows that, hey, this thing that you brought into the relationship that you're doing, it's making me feel differently about you in a bad way. You got to communicate with your partner. And if they're still not getting it, you have to be blunt and say, I'm losing attraction for you because of it. And that usually writes the ship because no one wants to be unattractive for their partner if they love you. Love is strong, love is the glue. It's a very strong emotion. So whoever cares less than the relationship has the power. Yeah, that was written by a narcissist. They act very racist, have racist kind of mentality in relationships, narcissists, because their level of disgust heightens when, you, when you're disagreeable with them. When you don't think the way they think, they're disgusted with you. When you don't work out three times a day like they do, they're disgusted with you. When you don't, if you can't bounce a quarter off the bed after you make it, there's a level of disgust there. If you don't mop the floors a hundred times a day, they're disgusted with you. They don't like anyone and understand anyone that's different than them or that movie that's going on in their head. I'm not saying all narcissists are racist. That's not what I'm saying. But if you have empathy, you, you're not going to abandon your partner because the attraction drops. You're going to exhaust all avenues to save the relationship. And that's, if you have to be blunt, you're going to do that because you love this person. But it happens in normal relationships where the partner doesn't want to change this thing. He doesn't want to build up his attraction. He's okay doing this thing, but he's, they're still going to exhaust all avenues to see if they can save it. This person knows that the love is abundant in the relationship, but you have to be attracted. And so when, when that attraction lowers and lowers and lowers, that love becomes like a love for a family member. And this is what you call a healthy breakup because both partners are aware of what's going on and they're okay with it. They're, this is called 
growing apart, these paradigm shifts that happen and that are normal in relationships happen. This is why you can't take a narcissist back. They don't feel love. You're doomed right there. Any drop in attraction, they're going to start a new relationship while sleeping with you, while future faking with you. They have this superiority complex, this greatness complex. And that's why when they, when they know that they leave you, abandon you, they think it's because of that greatness that you're in pain. They're using love and the lack of love that they feel as a weapon. The darkness is using the light sometimes as a weapon because they know your heart. It's crucial that you don't start a relationship if you know that you don't love them and they don't love you. You do not entertain a commitment with this person. You have to take your time. You have to see the levels of how they handle things. You got to let your attraction grow with the person. It has to be legit this time. A lot of us are guilty of going feet first. It's a learning experience. And, and you Mrs. B's in the harem garage who are saying, I want this person back, but I know this person is toxic. I know this person is, is like disgusted with me. This person is abusive, but I want him back. There is a chemical reaction in the brain due to the abuse. You are addicted chemically, not to greatness, but to the chemical. And those late night emails and those responses to text and all your responses to the great one has fed their greatness complex. They think they are this person. They think you are missing the greatness. But something happens when they contact you out of left field. They're not disgusted with you anymore. No, no. They're disgusted with the new supply now. Because they're not mopping the floors once a day. Working out three times a day. Disagreeable with their grandiose movie. Now they're disgusted with the new supply, but they want to see if you've learned what it's like to be away from greatness. And you can say, no, you're an abusive person. And unfortunately I was addicted to you and it's physical, it's in the brain and I'm going no contact. And I never want to speak with you again because when you were sleeping with other people while future faking with me, and committing with me. You didn't think I existed. Therefore, you do no longer, you no longer exist in my world. And I'm going no contact. This is what you have to do. This is the knowledge. It's not love that keeps Mrs. B's in the harem garage. It's the chemical. It's the trauma bond. You gotta break that once and for all. Let them know they're not great. Those late night e emails fed the monster. Everything has been feeding the monster. The fact that you haven't blocked them on social media is feeding the monster because they're going, they're, they're watching every, looking at every post that I do. You are fueling their greatness complex. You're glorifying the crack cocaine is what you're doing without even knowing it. This is why you're craving the narcissist. And you'll have to deal with the love. The, the love will dissipate over time, but you go no contact. The impact that that has on the narcissist, think about it. They live for one thing. They live for fuel. Once that is cut off, that has a major impact, positive or negative. Because when you reached out in anger, that fed the monster. That really fed even the greatness complex. So let them be disgusted with the new supply. They're going to have to throw that mask back on with the new supply and comb through that rickety old garage 
and social media again to find the replacement, it never stops. Once they're disgusted with you, they can't get it back to normal. They had the mask, when they reached out to you with the Hoover, that mask is on. They aren't good people, they're beyond races. They hate, every, they hate everybody. Everyone that they're with, it, they end up hating, okay? The set-in supply of the family members, they have to tolerate. They know they have to tolerate that because without human interaction, they will die. <laughs> they will die. They have to maintain their set-in supplies. With the romantic folk, they could give two craps about it. They don't exist to you anymore and you can do this. No contact. Erase all the pictures. Everything. Now that the people are back in the streets, this is a crucial time that people are going to be answering Hoovers because they think they need this person. Now you have the knowledge. What are you going to do with this knowledge? Get away from the technology. You can break this addiction within 30 days. Everyone is lonely. Everyone is needing human touch, especially as single people who have been on lockdown solo. This is very crucial. A lot of you single people out there who probably learned something from this video saying, you know, there's paradigm shifts. There's always um, nuances in relationships who gave up too easy, who have known their partner has empathy, a good person, but the attraction dropped for this person. Why don't you look that person up again? If you're healed, make sure you heal first. But you got to roll with the punches. Love is the glue. Without love, you got nothing. You can never entertain the narcissist ever again. They're going to say what you want to hear. They can't love. Therefore, they can't bond. Any, any drop in attraction is disgusting to the narcissist. And there is no getting them back. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I don't want a long video, but listen, guys, comment down below. Share this video with two people. Join the SEAL team. You can hit that link below. I'm going to do one more video this weekend. And just remember, the Lord has written a book about you guys. Isn't it time to see what's in your book? He wants to help you. But you got to accept him to get your book to come to pass, guys. You guys be blessed, and we'll see you this weekend. Be blessed.